Hi, this is Jared Dean Winchester, founder of Springwells Productions. I've put together a series of tutorials to help you, the creative practitioner, to become a better one. What I define as a creative practitioner is a screenwriter, creative producer, or a filmmaker. And any person who is involved in making content, creative content, or who is a content creator. That's who I define as a creative practitioner. Now, in this tutorial, I am focusing on screenwriters. And this tutorial in particular is about the qualifications of a screenwriter. Now, I have a few more down the pipeline targeted at screenwriters. Now, uh, but for now, let's stick with this. Now, here is a list of qualifications, broken it down into two different sections. One in green, the top section in green, and of course, I've got the bottom section in blue. And I'm gonna go over each item on the list and explain to you why I picked that word. So let's get right into it, shall we? Now, I have gained some experience in working with the film industry, and I've done this by, by doing volunteer work. And within that time, I've gained some knowledge, a little bit of insights, which I'm gonna share with you, not just in this tutorial, but tutorials moving forward. Now, one of the things that I realized or I observed is these items on the list. Now, starting with patience. Now, as a screenwriter, your story or characters does not come to you overnight. It takes time to develop. And over time, it develops. Be it your story, be it your characters, be it your dialogue, or be it anything that is related to you writing a story or a screenplay. Now, screenplay is the art of you using words to illustrate your story, not necessarily tell your story, because the mantra in the industry and in any film medium or film or television medium and any medium that involves visuals, the mantra is show, don't tell. So with your words, you'll be showing your story. Now, keep in mind that screenwriting is the first leg or the first step or the first point of entry into filmmaking and storytelling or TV writing or TV producing, without which there's nothing. Now, patience is also when you let the story come to you and you allow the elements to flow through you naturally so it resonates in you, the writer, it, and you allow yourself to write a quality screenplay. Persistence means you as a creative practitioner should be persisting. Now, yes, there will be criticism down the line. Hopefully, majority of that criticism is constructive. Now, there will be destructive criticism, which I will not be mentioning here, but there is a way to tell how to determine bad criticism or destructive criticism when it comes to someone reading your screenplay or someone critiquing your screenplay or someone critiquing your movie or your TV show. Now, persistence also means you need to see it through the end of the project. Start to finish. You'll need to see it through and by doing so, you'll have some quality. Now, whether or not you have a time limit is yet to be decided by either the person you're working for or setting that time limit 
yourself. Problem solving. Now, this is something that you can learn, you can pick up by approaching your local university or any other academic institution that has this course, the problem solving course, and asking them about the specifics of problem solving course, taking the course and applying those principles that you have learned for storytelling, for problem solving to storytelling. That's what I'm trying to say. Now, problem solving is not a science, it's not an exact science, but when critics or people who read your work point out problems, you'll need to be able to solve those problems in a very creative way or in a constructive way. Now, look for constructive criticism, mostly, and ignore all the destructive criticism. Now, again, that will be a separate tutorial for another day and another video for another day. Let's stick to this. Practice. Now, along with persistence, practicing your craft or practicing screenwriting does not involve you writing your screenplay, one screenplay, over and over again. However, what it does mean is as you take on more projects, you become a better writer. You learn to write better. You learn to choose your words better. Choose words that leap out of the page. Also, with practice, you may have heard the saying, practice makes perfect. Now, even though in any field, including screenwriting, there's no such thing as perfection, but this is what you're aiming for. By practicing, you'll become a better screenwriter and a better creative practitioner. But for the purposes of this tutorial, it's going to be make you be a better screenwriter. Passion is the last item on section one. Now, what that means is not just passion for writing, not just passion for storytelling, but passion means, in this case, you will need to believe in your story. You will need to believe in your characters. Now, what I have found is that when you do believe in your characters or your story, what that will lead to is you will be able to persist and you will be able to have the patience to allow the story to come to you. You will also be able to problem solve and practice your craft. Now that's section one. Now section two is equally as important. The first item on the list in section two is suspension of disbelief. Now, think about this. Now, your end audience, your end viewer, I should refer to them as, when they have dealt with an entire day's worth of reality, what they want to do is they want to unwind, forget about reality, and they want to be entertained. Now, they do this by suspending their disbelief. They want to suspend their disbelief. Now, unfortunately, in today's day and age, in today's world, there's way too much overanalyzing of a story, of a screenplay. Now, also, this is affecting not just the criticism of a screenplay or a TV show or movie, but it's also affecting the creators, the screenwriters, because they too also overanalyze it and ruin it. Take the easy way out. Don't be that person. Suspension of disbelief is also important, but also is imagination. Now, when I talk about imagination, which also relates to the passion element of section one, what that tells you 
is you can imagine an idea. It's not so much to do with the idea itself, but your creative juices flowing, the imagining a world, imagining a concept, now imagining a world where no one it has dared to take the risk on. No one will take the risk on. You found that no one has taken the risk on it. Now, I will give you a couple of examples here. The first of which comes from Peter Jackson, the guy who brought us the Lord of the Rings. No f big budget production company wanted to deal with him. No one wanted to make the movie until he decided that he was going to make it. Set up his own production company. He made it. And did so quite efficiently, I might add. And what I will also mention is that Rajamouli, S.S. Rajamouli, is another director, a very emerging director, who also has some imagination, comes up with storylines, with visuals that are pretty great. Now, agree or disagree with me on that one, but two examples of imagination. Last item on the list, also as important because, is adaptability. You see, in this world, in this business, this is the film and television business, you, things can change at the drop of a hat. When they do, you'll need to be adaptable. How adaptable are you? And also, how adaptable are you to making changes in your screenplay? When you hear criticism, and when you accept criticism, there's going to be a lot of changes, even in during production time. I'll be honest with you on that one. There will be changes being made even when the script has gone into production. And an example of this is Friends, the TV show Friends. Even though there were 12 writers working on it, even when the episodes were being produced, were being in production, changes were still being made. Now, there you have it. Now, when you finish with this tutorial, ask yourself this question. Is this you? Is this me? I can tell you for certain, some of the items on the list, it needs to be innate in you. And the rest of it will need to be learned or can be learned. For example, the ones that need to be innate is your patience, your persistence, passion, suspension of disbelief and imagination, and of course, adaptability. Those are the major items that need to be innate. When it comes to problem solving and practice, you can get it, you can learn it. So there you have it. Now these are the qualifications of a screenwriter. Now why did I put this tutorial up for you? Any job that you go to, you need to be qualified for it. Any job advert you look at, they will put up qualifications for that job. Now, ask yourself, every time you want to endeavor into screenwriting, or each time you want to embark into the journey of screenwriting, ask yourself, is this me? Do I have all this? If you do, great, then you are ready to take the next step. Now, also, to put it out there, I am always looking for people with ideas to join my company. Now, this is not an advert or anything to advertise my business, 
But if you are interested, let me know and we'll talk after this tutorial. If you believe this is you, call me. And what I'll do is I will see what I can do. Anywho, with that being said, this is Jared Dean Winchester. And before you go, I did mention Raju Mali, the director or filmmaker. Well, it so happens he does have a quote. His latest movie, RRR, which has been so successful that Hollywood is actually wondering why it does not make movies like RRR, which is by Raj Mali, the Tollywood director and filmmaker. Yes, I said Tollywood, not Bollywood, because Tollywood is the unsung brother, the unsung twin brother of Bollywood. Now, I'm going to read you a quote from Raj Mali, and you tell me if it resonates in you. Let me tell you. Right, here's the quote. When something excites you, a story or a characterization, you immediately forget about everything else. You only think about how to make a movie out of it. The economics only come later. You shouldn't let money dictate the kind of films you should make. Now, this should resonate in every single filmmaker or screenwriter out there and every single content creator out there. Now, he has a point and I'm going to say that when you believe in your characters and in your story, all this stuff that we're talking about here in this tutorial will fall into place. Now, especially when it comes to passion. Now, passion will be believing in your characters, believing in your story, so that the rest of these qualities fall into place, which I'm going to give you marks, great points, if this is you. Now, with that being said, thank you for joining me for this tutorial about the qualifications of a screenwriter and with that being said until I see you again in the next tutorial don't forget to turn that page I'll catch you next time